In the previous video, I showed you the Amazon Dot, and in this video, we're going to check out the Amazon Alexa app, which is directly related to the Amazon Dot and Amazon Echo. Alexa, what's the population of the U.S.? The population of the United States is about 324 million. So here I am in the Amazon app. Um, you have a lot of options and settings. You can turn on like profanity filters. You can turn on and off the um, whether you want to do shopping or not because a lot of kids might want to, might, a lot of parents might not want their kids being able to um, to purchase things. Um, you have a household profile where I can put in my home address so that my um, my app knows when I'm doing directions or the weather, things like that. It knows where you. Uh, where you are, voice purchasing, like I said, are you able to vo purchase by voice? You might want to turn that off if you don't want to, you know, have your kids do something or something like that. Calendar, I have it synced up to my um, Google Calendar, which is nice. Um, you can you can uh, you can add multiple Bluetooth, multiple. You can change what Alexa responds to, whether it be a computer or Amazon. You can change the temperature units. You can change your alarm noises. You have a lot of flexibility here in the options. So music and media, you can see here I have it hooked up to Pandora and Spotify. Um, you can do iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and you know they want to push their own uh, things, so they push Amazon Music for the most part. Flash briefings, you can add like Fox News or CNN. So however you want to ask it news, you can t you can see which sources you want it to check. You know depending on if you like more liberal or conservative or whatever that is. Sports updates, same thing. You can uh, you know add and remove your sports teams. Um, the app really lets you cater the experience to you and make a personalized approach. Um, there's also voice training, um, things about making it, you know, get your voice better and make you understand and make sure it's uh, understanding everything correctly. Do things to try if you want to, you know, go ahead and uh, try new things. Like here's some advice for, you know, search Wikipedia. Uh, Echo Show, you know, ask to show you the trailer for the wall, show me my photos, uh, check your calendar, connect a Bluetooth device, to control music, discover new music, fun and games, weather. Like, you could do a lot of things, set timers. So here's skills, what I was talking about before. And these are like third party apps, like a sleep and relaxation sounds. Uh, you could do quizzes, Jeopardy, 21 questions, Sesame Street. There's a Dunkin' Donuts app. Uh, five minute plank workout, like an audio workout app. Um, all sorts of third party things you can install. There's a cooking one as well that looked pretty interesting. Sleep sounds. You can have a doctor, health facts, give you, you know, answers like that. Basically it's something, you're, it's, a, it's an app, a third party app, BBC News, that is gonna supply information for future questions. And, oh, and then you can see the last things I've uh, searched here. I made did the woof woof, what's the weather like? I set a timer, I asked it a joke. So it, it logs everything you've asked. So uh, if you're a parent, you can see what your your kids have been saying. If you just want to remember something that you asked before, you know, you can go back through here and uh, see all the, uh, all the uh, history, which is really nice. So that's the app, it's a great, it's, I mean, my experience so far has been amazing. Had no issues whatsoever. Uh, my one downside with it was the that it has to be plugged in, that you can't use YouTube. And actually another thing that I was just thinking about is you can't ask it complicated questions. Like you can't, you can ask it like find me a Japanese restaurant, but if you say, you know, find me sashimi, or you say anything even a little bit out of like a, a general question, it really does struggles. You know, I asked it, you can, it can answer Harrison Ford, but if you ask him something like Rami Malek, or um, you ask them like a, a maybe not an A level celebrity, but like a B level celebrity, they will not have that information. So it's very much contingent on the um, the type of questions you ask. It's not that smart yet, but I see that improving significantly over the next couple of months. All right, I hope you like this one. This is the app. It's pretty nice, pretty easy to use. Let me know if you guys have any questions. It's a great purchase. So I put some links in the description below to check it out. And uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.